Right guys, so I've just loaded into Dungeons and due to new update of the tower, I'm going to show you a little trick here if you fail to get up to a boss. Now, I don't know if this works all the time, but generally speaking, if you haven't got to a boss, you should be able to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the tower run. Nice and easy. So if you haven't played the tower before, basically you have to make your way up. 30 floors, you get 3 lives to do so, um, you start with nothing and have everything to gain. So, with this, there's this little glitch that if you happen to fail the tower, you should be able to rejoin where you left off. So, I'll show you what I mean. So, here we go, we're in floor 1. So, we're going to clear floor 1. I have zombies because I have been playing around with it as I like to, um, so it might take me a little bit of time, it's a bit actually harder. The funny thing with zombies is they're actually not too hard to kill, but because the gear when you start off with is not the best, they're actually quite hard, while well, the ones with armour are, or can be. That's what I want to power. Right. So all I've done is I've just edited the uh, file code to say, just give me zombies, and that's what we've done. It just gives me zombies. I can change it to whatever you wanted it to be, and you could just fight them the whole way through the tower. Oh, I'll take a get that up there. Nearly. Right, so up here, let's kill these ones here. The only reason I'm showing you this is because if I were to die on floor one, there would be no point in doing this glitch you might as well just restart the whole thing right I'm done because once you get up your mini map and it's got the doorway you know you can move on through it so what happens now is I cleared floor one I've got to floor two choose my item that I want to exchange or add so I'll take that one and I'm in floor two so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lose all three of my lives ah, just to simulate that this is too hard for me and I can't continue um, it probably does happen to some people not everyone but Anyway, there's one life gone. I still kill things like. Right. Here they come, they're killing me. My health is going down rapidly. Last chance. So that's this is my last chance now. And let's just kill it. Nearly dead, nearly dead, I'm dead. Right. So I've failed the tower, I have died before I've reached the top and I didn't manage to escape. Now it says here you failed the tower, don't give up, try the tower again any time. Return to camp down here. You can see, return to camp. So I defeated no bosses, that's the key part, and I've cleared one floor. So what I'm going to do is, instead of clicking this button here, I'm going to go up here and click the cross. Now on the PC this is easy to do because you can run it in a window. On a console I'm not too sure if you can just close the software down and start it back up is easy but you don't want to click this button here is what I'm trying to get at so I'm gonna click the cross up the top right and the software's closed down I'm gonna give it a minute and then I'm gonna go and launch the game back up again so give it a minute the game takes a while to load back up but we'll get there in the end so I don't know your thoughts on the tower I quite enjoy it I find it a little bit slow a little bit boring um, I'm very disappointed that there is no item drops within the actual tower itself or even emeralds. I mean, you're spending all that time, it's 30 levels, and you're gaining one item out of it, and I think that's very disappointing. I think that they should have some drops going on it. You know, emeralds, gold, and items. Um, the amount of time you're spending on it, you need more rewards than just the end or whenever you fail. So that's my thoughts, I don't know what your thoughts, let me know and um, it would be good to hear. Other than that, it's a good concept, instead of going down the dungeon you're going up. Um, I've always wanted a unlimited sort of dungeon, get as far as you can. This is along those lines but not as quite what I think what anyone was expecting. So anyway, let's start the game and we load back into the camp. So what we're going to do now is once we've loaded back in we get the map back up and we'll go back into the tower and see what it says once it loads so I'll get my map back up and I'm no walking all the way over there to the tower so here's the tower here tower A I click that and what we've got is we've got two screens we have got the tower current floor 2 
and I've also got my avatar over here. So, but hold on a minute, I've just died, I've lost all three of my lives, but I can continue at floor two. Normally what would it say, it would say start from floor zero. But anyway, there we go. So we can continue from where we last died. So essentially we have an extra life. Now I haven't tried this over and over and over and over again. The only thing that I know that limits this is that if you um, complete a boss, so you get past a boss, you can't then go back. I'm not sure on the double. So that's what we're going to do now, is we're going to find out about the double. So, tower failed, because I only have one life. No, it says again, exactly the same, no boss is defeated, let floor, one floor completed. Before, if you complete a boss, it comes up and says minus one floor is completed. It's like, what? Anyway, right, so not this button, remember that. Click close, and then we're going to go straight back into dungeons. Again, it takes a while. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on the tower. Um, and or the AP. I don't like the whole progressive reward system. I mean, it's good, don't get me wrong, but I haven't got a clue where I'm at. I've got this bar that seems to go up whenever it wants to go up, and I, I don't know how long that's going to take me because it doesn't indicate on how many points needs to fill that bar. Is it 1? Is it 3? Is it 12? Does it go up more the more you play? It just There's just no indication of how long that bar is to to progress, and it's a shame, really. Come on, load up. It takes ages. Yeah, let me know your, your thoughts on the whole update, the whole new thing. I'm hoping the winter update, so the winter event, they kick it off and they produce a uh, load of new uh, items. That would be quite good. Right, start the game. Travelling back to the camp. Come on. Right, back to the map. And then to the tower. And now I can continue again. So as long as you don't defeat a boss, I think you can just keep going and keep going and keep going. The moment you get past level 10, unfortunately, you can't do it again as far as I figured out. It comes up and it comes up back with the end screen again. So, yeah. Anyway, so if you're struggling to get even up to the first boss, don't worry. There is a method to relaunch you back into the game at the floor where you die. So be it with one attempt left, and may not be possible on consoles because I can't test it out at the moment. But anyway, there it is. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you again soon.